You're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome to Bruise Rock. We're Chuck Mountain. I'm Bo. I'm Sammy. And I'm Jeff. And we're gonna drink these beers because it's ladies night. <laughs> All these beers were given to us by beautiful women in our life. First, my wife, behind the camera, picked out a lot of these beers. This last one is in collaboration with LaShonda down from Little Brother Barrel and Bottle and Graham, as well as Forgotten Reds Ale, and it's part with the Pink Boot Society. It is a group of women brewers. Ladies, uh, I, on, di on brew days, we drink pink. Is the name of the Sour IPA. I can't wait. I bet it's pink. We should have wore pink. We drink pink. We don't have to wear it. Mm -hmm. All right. Next up, we are going to have the Fanta Flora Tiny Bubbles. Tiny bubble. Tiny. It's got the tiniest of bubbles inside. Up next, we have the Strawberry Goza as well from Fanta Flora. It says, a mixed culture Goza beer fermented with local strawberries and aged in tarragon and sea salt. Ooh. Different. What, which one's this, Jeff? Seth Hoss? Seth? Seth Hoss. Seth Hoss. Seth Hoss. It is a smoked lager with maple syrup. Mmm. A lager? Smoked lager? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Looks like the, the building on the front is like a lumber mill. Or a little log cabin. They do make <laughs> maple syrup from sap, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Like just drill, drill into a tree. Tree, maple tree and just get a little leaf and put it up in there. And you got your own little spigot. <laughs> a leaf? Yeah. Sap. <laughs> House. Where's this one from? Oxford Brewing. I don't know oh, what that is. Maine. Oh, Maine. Oh, this one's from Maine. This one snuck in somehow. We usually drink North Carolina beers, but tonight we're drinking one from Maine. The bouncer wasn't at the door tonight. There was no beer bouncer, so we're going to drink them all. <laughs> <laughs> Up first, we have from Forgotten Roads Ale in LaShonda down at Little Brother Brewing down in Graham, North Carolina. We have on Brews Day, we drink pink. Mm. Let's dive on in, y'all. Full of fruit. Oh, yeah. So sours, I've been told, you take one sip and then immediately take another one and you can taste more. Can you do that multiple times in a row? Yeah. Shocks the palate. This is really good. It is. I definitely taste that dragon fruit. Yeah. Yeah. So this one is a sour IPA with dragon fruit, oh, mango, IPA. and the exclusive Pink Boots blend of hops from Yakima Chief Hops. Those are mango. Sour IPA. I'm a fan of the sour IPA. This is good. It's like the best of both worlds. This one is very sour, though. It's very tart. I like it. I don't get a lot of the hoppy bitter in from most IPAs. I like it. It's really good. So it also says a portion of the proceeds will be donated back to the Pink Boots Greensboro chapter to assist, inspire, and encourage women in the beer industry through education and collaborative events. Thank so you. go and support okay. your new boots. Where can you get this? Pink boots. You can pick it up at Little Brother Barrel and Bottle down in Graham, as well as Forgotten Red Ales, which is also just around the corner in downtown Graham. The ABV on this one is 7%. Woo! This one's a big boy. It is a big boy. Big boy beer. Made by ladies. How many in a row could you drink? I don't know. Getting a little heartburn. Yeah. I, it tastes great. Yeah, I would, maybe two. I, it's pretty sour, so I feel yeah. like after a while I would start to get the pucker cheeks. It's very complex. I bet you if you put that over ice, it would be super good. Yeah, it, or blended, like it, a blended margarita. It kind of reminds me of like lemonade. Smoothies. Lemonade? It has, I, yeah. I, I get like a lemonade hint to it, so I feel like, yeah, over like crushed ice. Oh, yeah. Or if 
you actually put dragon fruit in it. You know, dragon fruit does not have a strong flavor. Yeah. But it's an yeah. enhancer. Yeah. That's one thing I actually learned about dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. You, uh, other than drinking it. I've never eaten a dragon fruit. Oh, I have. I ate it, and then I was like, mm, this is okay. And then I mixed it with, like, raspberries and stuff. Mm. And ate, like, a fruit bowl with it. And I was like, that's how you do it. Do you add anything to it? It's so great. If this was just like, you know, sometimes you leave a beer in the back of the fridge and it freezes a little bit on the inside, you crack it open and it has like ice flakes. The crystalline structure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the little crystalline structure. Ice uh, flakes. I feel like this beer would be delicious like that. Almost frozen, but not. Shaved ice. Pour this on top and drink it quick. Yeah, drink it quick. <laughs> drink it quick. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't want to shave it down. No. So. You gotta just get after it. It's very sour. Yeah, I know. Drink that in the bowl bath. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, uh, wow. No. Okay, no. Tiny bubbles in the bowl bath. But we don't know that yet. Yeah, I know. We don't. I think I would be sitting in a hot spring. Oh, I'm thinking like hot spring, like you're out there in the middle of... Yeah, like in the middle of nowhere where there's like still snow like up on the mountain, but you're in a hot spring. It's mm -hmm. nice and warm. Drinking this delicious... On brew days, we wear pink. Drink pink. On brew days, we drink pink. Delicious. Ready? Yeah, all together? Mm -hmm. Tiny bubbles from farm to Florida. Tiny bubbles from farm to Florida. Tiny bubbles from farm to Florida. This next beer is Tiny Bubbles from farm to Florida. Saison. That is crisp. <clears throat> it's very crisp. It's got a lot, a lot of herbs in there. Yeah, not do it. Not, not it. Not it. Saisons? Is there cloves in there? It's chamomile. Chamomile. It tastes like drinking a flower. It is a very flowery beer. I feel like I taste uh, cinnamon. <clears throat> That's the chamomile. What's the APV? 3.6. No way. <laughs> Get out of here. A saison. This is just like, yeah, we're going to be out here a while. <laughs> it's going to take me a while to drink this beer. <laughs> we're going to be out here a while. Might as well drink some saison. I feel like I just grab some flowers out the field and just throw them in my mouth. Yeah. Like you're just walking through a puddle <laughs> and there's a bunch of flowers in there. And then you filter it through your sock and then put it in a glass. <laughs> Why your sock? Because it'll fil filter out the particulates. This is definitely a filtered beer. It's very clean. Yeah, it's very clear. Very clean beer. It does look like champagne. If the smell was a color, what would it be? <laughs> White. White? Beige. I would say like eggshell. <laughs> plain color. Yeah, this is Thomas plain bagel. Dry, not even toasted. Do you like it? It's not I bad. I think I would bring this. I would, I would have my dad try this. He'd be like, oh, that's good beer. I feel like this is a, like a very approachable. It reminds me of Michelob. No, it's definitely like in that style. I just can't get over the flower. It does taste very flowery. Have you had this one before? All right, let's finish this thing. Oh, man. Uh, and then... Freaking... Are you just... <laughs> in stereo. Just shit your pants in stereo. <laughs> it sounded like there was a tiny dog trying to come out of the <laughs> tiny dog coming. I told you it was right until we started filming and then it's gonna come right out. Uh, <laughs> Saisons, Crazons, man. <laughs> this could use some raisins in it, you know? You just suck them in there. Some craisins? <laughs> 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 the last sip. <laughs> this is a good time. I'm excited for the next one. Oh, the sediment. Uh, that's not sediment, that's mud. This next beer we have is a strawberry goza from Fanta Flora. Ooh, very, very cloudy very with a chance of deliciousness. <laughs>
days. Oh, that it smells for real. It smells like a. Like a. Shut your mouth. Yeah, I don't know what that smell is. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! That is one sour strawberry. That's like the tiny little strawberry that hasn't even like aged yet. You eat that tiny little one and it's that sour. How many you drink of those? <laughs> one. A taste? One. For sure. A sip? That is hardcore. Like, if you like sour, you found your beer, because this thing is sour. It's barrel aged, too. What? what? Yeah. <laughs> Introducing our what, second. Grapefruit barrels? What? <laughs> Introducing our second of many to come in a new experimental mixed culture barrel aged fruited goza beer. Yeah, what? what beer? So is it kombucha? Oh, it's got sea salt in it, too. Oh, 4.8% volume of alcohol. A, B, by volume. By volume. There it is. Do you taste the salt? Yes. I taste the tarragon. I don't even know what tarragon is, but it kind of tastes like lipstick. I smell the salt and it tastes the salt. This is like if strawberry chapstick was a lipstick, that's what it would taste like. Mm. You just eat it. Oh, it attacks the back of your mouth. <laughs> the back of my tongue is on fire. I, uh, oh, it's so sour. It is really sour. Oh, like it's got a good upfront flavor. And then it's just sour. I feel like that would be way better if it was watermelon. Fanta Flora, they have like, it's a very, it tastes clean. They're like clean beers. Yeah, the, it's, a, it's like a clean, but very sour, sour. Uh, oh, you finished? Fight. Yes. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it a lot. Oh, it goes down like a smooth dragon. If this was a piece of clothing, what would it be? The spiky Doc Martin shoes. <laughs> okay. The spiky Doc Martin shoes? Yes. I like it's that. called fashion. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know. Maybe like a... Sorry. <laughs> I feel like it'd be something really like risque. A lot of skin showing in that. But it's really sour. Last beer of the night is going to be the... Sap House. Mm. Mm. Where's that from, Sammy? Oxbow Brewing Company in Newcastle, Maine. Sap House. Sap House. It is the International House of Sap. Sap House. Sap and waffles. This thing smells like it's been hanging out at Havana Fields for a little while. In the smoke room. I mean, it's very sweet. It's got your favorite toffee in it, too. Toffee? Yep. What else? Coffee. No coffee in this one. It's not a real sap house until you get coffee in it. That's true. Any time of the day, sap house. Sap house. Call today to reserve a spot at the sap Sap house. house. Sap house. The production time on this is eight weeks. Enjoy within one year. Right outside the date. Um, I can't even tell. The 24th of something in 2021. 24. 7%. 7%. That is a big Big boy. boy. On a first date. Would you order this for your date? No. I feel like it's a statement. Am I enjoy- Am I having a good time already? You don't know. It's a blind date. You've never seen them. And then the waiter's like, hey, would you like to order a drink? You're like, yes. Two of these smokehouse, please. Yeah, I would. I feel like it would make me be look mysterious. It just sits out like, oh. It'll be like, hey, he likes campfires. I'm like, yeah, I do like campfires. I like burning stuff. The deeper you get into the fire, you get more water. It's growing on me. It's growing on me, too. It's not making me go crazy like the sours. Kind of like tastes like you're drinking scotch, though. I think you would be at like a cigar lounge drinking this. Smelling the smoke and like drinking sitting smoke. on the uh, couch that came out of that smoking room. Uh, probably a Romeo and Julieta. Uh, that's what I would probably smoke if I was going to have a cigar and drink this beer. Just smoke on smoke on smoke. Smoke. 
smoky days. Oh, charcuterie board with smoked Gouda. Oh, don't you hate when you get smoked Gouda and it just tastes like regular Gouda? This would actually be really good with smoked Gouda. Like, you know, beer cheese with smoked oh. Gouda? With this beer? That'd be pretty oh. good. Try it today. I feel like this is the most creative of the beers we've had. It's close to that cow one. That cow one was very bacony though. Yeah. yeah. This one is just like smoke. smoke. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like the porter in the smoke goes better than a lager in smoke. The smoke kind of overtakes the lager. Yeah. yeah. It's got like a big texture to it too, which most lagers texture don't. Taste like bigger it just, than it is. It's like thicker than you would think it would be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a lager, like you drink a Budweiser, it does not taste thick like that. So kind of syrupy, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it has maple syrup in it. <laughs> Put this on some waffles if you want to get cranked up this morning. <laughs> that was an adventure. See, ladies night is an experience. Thanks to the ladies in our lives for the beers that we tried tonight. It was a lot of fun and we tasted some different things we never tasted before. Like flowers. Mm. <laughs> And oh, oh tarragon, yeah. I tarragon. Had tarragon. You've had tarragon. The d- dragon people. <laughs> <laughs> what Targaryen, my man? Thank you for tuning in to Bruise Rock. We've had a wonderful time. We hope you have too. This ladies' night has been very impressive. If you liked any of the beers, leave us a like. If you've tried any of the beers, tell us down below. And if you want to see what beers we try next, hit that subscribe button. Until next week. We're Chuck Mountain! Cool. It's a little box in there. <laughs> How's this? Closing statements on a scale from first to last. How would you rate the beers? Oh. Maybe first. Put them in order from first to last. What do you think? Okay, first is over here. First, second, tie. Oh, you can't tie. Yeah. There's only tie. four the places. Smoke for it, or the smoke lager was definitely better than the cookie. Yeah, this was... It was I think the flavor is just too sour. So, do you have any more visions? <laughs> Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Dude, that one tasted like flowers. Yeah, it tasted like potpourri. Yeah, but I'd much rather drink this one than this one. No, I, I think we had some good ideas with that one. Yeah. Well, good ideas, but good ideas don't Hair cheese. cheese. All right, you got all kinds of stuff you can make with that. This, there's stuff you can make. Boil your corn in it. For your crawd heads. Crawd heads. Crawd heads in the dang tiny bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> crawd heads. I'm looking for his crawd heads. What about the house? A little bit of smoky flavor to it. No, man. No, no man. We want to keep crawl it crawl dead boil. Well, this one has salt. What kind of dish would you make with this? Sour Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> Something super spicy so that you just kill your taste buds. <laughs> I put it in ice cream and then throw it in the trash. <laughs> if you had to curse one of your enemies to only drink one beer for that the rest one. of their life, that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No. This sea salt in there is just going <laughs> to suck out all their hydration. I'm so parched. You know when Spongebob gets out of water and he like shrivels up? That's, that's what they would be like. That's what we mixed up in there? It was just water and Spongebob? <laughs> that was Patrick Star. That was oh. pink. Anyway, thanks again. Bye. Bye.